The Mandalorian. Finally, it's time for me to also talk about the best TV show in recent years. After the not so well received Disney Star Wars films, the fanbase was left divided and most of all, disappointed. I mean, he had so much potential and lore to explore in a new trilogy, but they found a way to make it convoluted, boring, and most of all, uninteresting. This is Star Wars, a galaxy far, far away, full of adventure, mysticism, futuristic technology, aliens and above all, space wizards, fighting with glowing swords. How can you make this not exciting and dull? The trilogy feels bankrupt of innovative ideas, and the story they try to tell does not have enough originality or talent to make it last in my memory. Overall, I enjoyed the third one, despite being the weakest part of the trilogy. I like Kylo Ren and his relationship with Rey. It was a nice spin on the hero journey kind of narrative. They could have been so much more creative with his characters. Kylo Ren should have been the main character, in my opinion. He a villain be tormented to choose between his allegiance and his inner calling would be a fresh take for the genre. And the driver is also the only actor there who is excellent in his performance. The others were okay, some even good. But if you're gonna make a multi billion dollar franchise, you better get the best of the people. And Kylo Ren was the only character with the proper depth and motivation to carry the movies out of the mediocrity. Words like boring, mundane, or uninteresting should never be associated with an exciting brand like Star Wars. And yet here we are, with an internet filled with critics bashing the soul out of the new trilogy, especially The Last Jedi, mainly because of the portrayal of Luke Skywalker. Well, while I did kind of saw some value in the subtleties of, of the movie, and you try to have some themes, the way they handle Luke was disgraceful. A master falls and gets back up. Only a loser would give up on his calling and hide while he could still fight and change the world around him. And that's what we saw. A loser snubbing milk on an island. I know the movie tried to make some statement about failure and dealing with the inevitable hardships of life, but being a Jedi should have been an example of determination, willpower and courage to keep on moving and fight to the end, if need be. No might be a human, but he's also a Jedi, a warrior on his path. Overweight coward is a disgrace to his order. If you want to keep Luke out of the movie, to give Rey some room to grow into a hero, they have him go on a quest of hunting down some old sacred relics to uncover some ancient power of the Jedi or something. But don't ruin his character by having him give up on his life. Anyhow, I might have gotten a rant about Star Wars, but it was necessary to give you an insight on the situation of the franchise before the arrival of the new famous Mandalorian, of the now famous Mandalorian. I was not much of a Boba Fett fan to begin with, so I was very skeptical in the entertainment value of the show, but I saw it had some western elements and it got, the, it got back to more grounded personal story of a loner turned fighter figure, so give that a try, boy was I in for a ride of my life. If you like western and space like Firefly and Cowboy Bebop, the anime of course, this show will rock your world. Now before I start picking me apart, I'm not a hardcore fan of the Star Wars lore. I simply enjoy it as a media of entertainment. Either as a cartoon, movie, show or game, I would evaluate the property individually despite its obvious connection to prior source material. I simply enjoy it as a media of entertainment. I start to see a pattern of having a badass, loner, middle-aged man become the fatter figure in an unforgiving, dangerous environment. From Walking Dead with Clementine to Last of Us, or God of War, and now even the new Star Wars universe with the Mandalorian. This show is amazing, it hits all the right notes from an awesome piece of entertainment. The Mandalorian is the best TV show we have had in the past three years, better than The Boys or any other Viking spin-off there might be. From all the properties of Star Wars, this show stands as the most entertaining and well made of them all. From the actions, the visual, the well developed characters, and the iconic and thematic music, man. The Western song is the most orgasmic thing I've experienced since my first wife went high school of the dead. Until the Mandalorian, my favorite Star Wars related entertainment was the Clone Wars series. It proved 
how Anakin Skywalker could be an imposing and badass protagonist, also expanding on his supposed friendship with Obi-Wan. You get to see the Jedi at the height of their power, and the Republic still ruling over a troubled universe. This should make some Clone Wars movies cause here are the best Star Wars stories ever told, and sadly they never made it to the big screen. Because we need some Disney princess to slide on some sand while her former heroes while all our former heroes had to get killed or ruined by misinterpretations of their traits and character. While well, the prequels made Obi Wan and I can Skywalker seem boring, still and interesting dudes, the Clone Wars have brought new energy to the characters and made them iconic and charismatic in their own ways. Obi Wan with his sarcasm and Anakin Skywalker with his angry, unhinged behavior, but also impose a respect with a terrifying demeanor. Anyhow, the point I tried to make is how a smaller show can really save and improve the characters or even the whole Star Wars universe in a proper, meaningful, and fulfilling manner, which is exactly what the Mandalorian accomplished in his two seasons around. Not only to introduce us to more obscure fractions and religions, but also redeems existing characters by making them brave heroes who trust in their abilities. Do you face Skywalker? I get ahead of myself. As I was saying, I'm about to review the Mandalorian, every episode in particular, and give my final thoughts on the series, because there's already been thousands of people who have rated this show as of now. This video will serve as an introduction to my new format, and I hope you will stick around for my in-depth analysis of this series.